Now we continue to follow that breaking news for you. A train derailment in Montgomery County reported just over an hour ago. I want to go straight to Newston ABC. Skylar Eagle who just arrived on the scene. She is live right now in the town of Cranesville. Skylar, what are you seeing out there? Stephanie, this is close it, as close as we're able to get right now with the staging area, which is on Route 5 in Avery Road here in Montgomery County. I do want to stress that we do know that there were no injuries and nothing has spilled out of the train derailment here. We do know that these, this train was carrying goods, not people. There are no injuries. You can see they're redirecting traffic right now on Route 5. It's closed here at Avery Road. It's also closed in the other direction a little further down. We're not able to see the derailment itself from this vantage point, but you can see that the train is completely stopped here on the tracks of the side of Route 5. We do know from Montgomery County Sheriff Jeff Smith that several cars are currently off the tracks. As I said, no injuries and no spills at this time. There are multiple crews on scene working to evaluate the situation right now. And on the county line between Schenectady County and Montgomery County, Route 5 is closed. So if you are heading this way. Just be aware you will be redirected by crews that are on scene here at this staging area. There are several agencies on scene right now, including the Department of Transportation. We are working to find out more information, uh, details with, with what happened with this train derailment. We'll keep you posted on air and online. For now, live in Montgomery County, Skyler Eagle, News 10, ABC. Stephanie. Thank you so much, Skylar. We see a lot of cars just zooming by Skylar at this time because Route 5 is a very popular commuting area, so we know this is difficult. Route 5 is closed off in both directions right now. On top of the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office and DOT being on scene, we're also getting word the state police are on scene as well. They are reporting this was 16 cars. Again, these were not passenger vehicles. We're going to keep you updated throughout the morning on this. Our entire newsroom is following this very closely for you. You can follow all those updates, both live here on air, both at 9 a.m and at noon.